At first, only Catholic Coca-Cola existed, but then, people started to create new sodas weakening their strength in the industry. The soda that gave Catholic Coca-Cola competition was created by Martin Luther. His soda was called Protestant Pepsi. People began to turn to this new beverage, and this upset Catholic Coca-Cola. A feud began between the two sodas. Catholic Coca-Cola remained the most popular soda company, yet some people still like Protestant Pepsi. Then, Charles V, the boss of Catholic Coca-Cola, agreed that the manager of each branch would decide the soda for the region to create peace. Even after the peace was established, there were still strong rivalries between the two brands. In 1618, the new boss of Catholic Coca-Cola, Ferdinand II, started to close down Protestant Pepsi factories. On top of that, he sent two representatives from Catholic Coca-Cola to watch over the Bohemian Diet Coca-Cola branch, which had a majority of Protestant Pepsi workers. The Protestant Pepsi people rebelled and literally threw the Catholic Coca-Cola representatives out of the window of the building. This is what started the 30 Years Soda War. Ferdinand II decided to team up with his cousin, the boss of Spanish Sprite, Philip III, to make his company stronger. Christian VI, the boss of Danish Mellow Yellow, supported Protestant Pepsi in fear of losing the soda. French 7-Up also supported Protestant Pepsi, not because of the soda, but because they didn't like the family who owned Catholic Coca-Cola. Even though Pepsi now had Bohemian RC Cola, Danish Mellow Yellow, French 7-Up, and Swedish Minute Maid support, Catholic Coca-Cola still remained the most powerful company. Ferdinand II produced a string of commercials that attacked Protestant Pepsi's business, and went back to being the dominant soda in the industry. For a while, Protestant Pepsi was the best company, with the help of the manager from Swedish Minute Maid, who brought them success with new sodas. Then, he died, and Catholic Coca-Cola went back to being the dominant company. Catholic Coca-Cola and Protestant Pepsi agreed not to attack each other on commercials anymore. However, this did not stop the competition at all. Assistant manager Richelieu, who worked for the boss of French 7-Up, trashed Catholic Coca-Cola and Spanish Sprite on television because he thought they were still too popular. Swedish Minute Maid backed up French 7-Up and Protestant Pepsi by helping to produce these ads. Now we have Danish Mellow Yellow, Swedish Minute Maid, French 7-Up, and Bohemian RC Cola all working for Protestant Pepsi. And supporting Catholic Coca-Cola is Spanish Sprite, Italian Mountain Dew, and Austrian Tropicana, both sides alternating being the most popular and getting the most rates. In 1648, a manager at Swedish Minute Maid, Marshal Karl Wrangel, created a new soda, and it won the people's favoring and stopped the competition between the two companies. The competition ended with Protestant Pepsi and its supporters winning. All of the managers of Catholic Coca-Cola and Protestant Pepsi met up in Westphalia to resolve the constant competition. On October 24th, 1648, the Peace of Sodas was created. It was a contract made in Westphalia headquarters that created a peaceful industry between Protestant Pepsi and Catholic Coca-Cola all around the world. This resulted in Austrian Tropicana no longer managing Swedish Minute Maid and German Coca-Cola Zero remained self-managed. French 7-Up and Swedish Minute Maid gained profit in widened production locations. Now there was a plan in action that would stop their fighting. The most important part of the piece of sodas is that Catholic Coca-Cola would never control the soda industry again. People everywhere could now drink Protestant Pepsi or Catholic Coca-Cola without getting pestered for it.